Dear Jack and Robert, uh, would you fancy coming up to Wales for a dirty weekend? No more details than that. Uh, what you say, boys? Why are we here? Why have we come here? Oh, something about very green green laning, apparently. I hope it's not going to be muddy. Well, you're not exactly dressed appropriately, for goodness oh, sake. Oh, sorry. Should I have dressed like a farmer from the 70s? Ah. Oh. Good morning. Wow. How are you doing? Richard, Richard. 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 And then we did our usual trick of electrification. So essentially in here now is oh, gone is the diesel smelly engine. Yeah. So now we've got a full Tesla pack in here. Wow. So we've got uh, an 80 kilowatt hour battery pack. Wow. Most of it's in the front and some of it is in the rear. And also a Tesla motor actually right. in the middle. So where Tesla motor normally sits on their Model S at the rear, yeah. we've taken that, turned it through 90 degrees and slotted it up between the frame rails. Right. How much more power does it have now than when it was original? A lot. Like <laughs> four times oh more? Oh my God, it's oh. a lot, yeah. So 450 horsepower. In, 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 uh, but we've had to turn it down, obviously, because this, right. this old lovely can't quite deal with that. that, yeah. So we've turned that one down, but that one's still on four beans. Ooh. Right. So that one's got, uh, yeah, it's turned up to 11, that one. Right. So this is a bit more sensible. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's also got a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack in. Wow, that's um, amazing that will fit in there. Incredible. Three phase charging, so 21 kilowatt charging. We do CCS as well, but these right. don't actually have it on because these are actually going up. These are actually owned uh, husband and wife wow. by the same family, and they're going up to a, an estate up in Scotland next week. Did, did that come to you like this, or did you did you uh, bits yeah, it up so th yourself? This is actually um, a replica of the Spectre Defender oh, yeah, that was in yeah. the uh, James Bond James Bond film. film. Yeah. So, 007 badge on the front. Actually. Exactly. Yeah. It's 0 to 60 in about four seconds. Just as scary. Over any Oh yeah, basically the range isn't great. They're around about 150 mile range mm. with a 100 kilowatt ba hour battery pack in a Tesla Model X. You probably get, I don't know, 300 mile range. Yeah, 280, yeah. 300 miles. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. you literally half that in a Land Rover. Yeah. But I haven't brought you here to talk today. No. I brought you here to go green, green lady. Yes. And enjoy my back garden, basically. So I'm going to get a map out because right. I've got a challenge for you guys. Oh, this is a, this is so old school, Richard. Oh, Brilliant. Yeah. A paper map. Old school? What do you mean? This is a map, Jack. It's on paper. It's not on a phone. The, I don't understand. <laughs> So I've made it easy for you. Uh, we're here. Right. Yeah. So you're going to be finding your way over to this little lake over here right. for lunch. Oh, yeah. okay? oh, that's nice. And then we'll probably go back over here this afternoon. Right. Work together, because uh, some of it's quite rough. Uh -huh. Right. So if, uh, I'm not sure who's going to take what vehicle, but if one vehicle can't get across one I think I then... think our names are all over it. That is old classic. We've sort of dressed like that, That's me. We? It? Yeah. We're and this, you're in all black with special logos. That's you here. <laughs> Perfect. So there you go. Jack, you're in the beast. Yes. And you're in I will lovely old Bessie. Lovely old Bessie. Lovely I feel very Bessie. at home in old Bessie. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the plan. So you, uh, I don't know who's going to be the map reader because we've only brought one map. Look at that. Look at that. That's folding oh, a map. That's great technique. All right then. Let's get going. Shall we? Get yeah. Any chariots, Come boys. Come on yeah. then. You've got the map? Yeah, I do.
So having driven for many years, I had Land Rover Defenders like this with petrol and diesel engines. And very, but a lot of things are very similar. The doors that never quite close, special Land Rover speciality. But everything about driving that, you would, you could drive that along this road. And everything else is the same. So the drivetrain on Land Rovers is spectacularly good. They're really strong. They cope with all these twists and turns and bumps. But the the experience of driving it was, you know, noisy, hot. The engines would get really hot because they're working hard and there's no airflow coming through, so they get they overheat very easily. There's just a lot of noise. There's a massive great gearbox here. You've got a load of gear selectors. You're working the clutch all the time to try and keep the vehicle moving. In this, it is so easy. I'm barely touching the throttle. It moves along really well. It's incredibly efficient. It travels over this land using the minimum amount of energy. I can barely registers on the dials. You can't see it straining. And I mean, yeah, we're going very, very slowly, but you couldn't go fast on these roads. You literally, <laughs> your eyeballs would fall out. I mean, it's just, it is, it is not smooth, this road. It is, as you can tell, <laughs> Look at this! Look at this play! I'm told this is good for defenders. Anything less than 90 degrees of steering play, and you've got a you've got a posh one. Robert, Robert must be steering a ship back there in his old defender with the meter wide wooden wheel. It's a, the steering is a little haphazard. It goes roughly where you're pointing it and also where it wants to go. So I'm constantly correcting it. And you can see the steering wheel is huge. It's very, very dated style. Lovely, I love it. But it doesn't really quite operate in the way you'd like it to. You can do that and nothing happens at all. <laughs> you just go straight on. Oh, isn't this nice? Oh, God. Also, did you see how when I signal you to stop, I did it with a closed fist? That was very cool. Army. <laughs> this is our first key decision All right. of the journey. So we are, that's it. That way. We've got a crossroads. Option one. Yeah. Straight up the hillside. A yeah. bit gnarly as far as I can tell. Right, yeah. Option two. A little bit flatter and little, gentler. But yeah, when you look at it, like, exact, not exactly flat, but yeah, gentler. That, I think your vehicle is suited to that one. That's what I'm saying. If you want to go up that way, and I'll just go on the gentle old Vickers route. Right, well, enjoy your leisurely flat see. journey. <laughs> Is that show? Yes. Right, time for some proper off-roading. What we've very cleverly done, because we're professional off-roaders, just let some of the air out the tyres, lower the PSI, higher surface area. We're like driving over butter. Beautiful. There we go. There we go. That's it. Easy does it. Uh, back windscreen smashed. Oh. With Andy down. <laughs> with Andy up first. Good, 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 good. Just been informed that the camera car, just after disappearing out of sight, has had a bit of an accident involving. Oh, there's the rear windscreen. <laughs> there it is. Oh, this is. This is no joke. This is no joke at all. I should be saying funny, clever things here. Oh, I'm busy. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. There are two real pleasures today. One is I get to drive this incredible vehicle on some proper extreme off-roading. The other is I get to watch cameraman Andy in the boot of a Toyota Hilux trying to film me while being absolutely ragdoll. 
Having a lovely time. A Isn't this a lovely time? <laughs> I do feel like a, a, an old duck that's been shaking in the can for about a week. Anyway, so Richard's over there, and there's a track down there. Oh yeah. Which looks like it's got a, quite a deep puddle. Okay. But I think so. What I thought is, I'll let you go first through that puddle, and I'll see if, if you get through selflessly. You're deploying selflessly. me as your guinea pig. Yeah. I, honestly, I, this thing is. I'm convinced I could drive this off a cliff at this point. So <laughs> I'd be fine. Perfectly happy to do that. <laughs> Let's give it a go. All right. I will get out of your way and I'll follow you gently. Again, this is welcome back to straight line driving in a defender. <laughs> I prefer it when Jack is in front of me because I can see where he goes. Might as well go for it. Oh! It's not a puddle! It's not a puddle! <laughs> this is hard to know exactly how to do this. Just force it through. <laughs> yes! <laughs> wow, that is amazing and quite muddy. Muddy swim, didn't you? Right, you suit suitably stuffed. Oh, lovely. Oh. Very nice lunch. Thank you very so much. So content. Richard. Very nice. Yeah, I could stay here for ages, but very we've got to go. All right, we've got more, more places to go. Right, What's next? next on the list. So you made it to, to there. Right. The Pirate's Point. Is that, is that what this is? <laughs> we'll <laughs> name it Pirate's Point. <laughs> so you got from there all the way through to there. Lovely. And now we're going to go over to a quarry there. Right. Before you go off, though, mm. I've got some bad news for you. Go right. on. Because now. You guys have got to get at that. The wall of death, as I like to call it. All right, so enjoy. All right. Remember, it's an only an air ambulance that can rescue you from here. Oh. first bit but this is where it gets really steep. Right, I can see my line. Oh! <laughs> Unbelievable. What a car. I do not want to go up there. That is that is silly steep. I don't need to do it. I don't need to prove it. I don't need to prove it to anyone. Do not go up there. <laughs> so I was just saying, I don't want to go up there. I do it's, not want to go up there. That looks I don't need to prove anything. I mean this thing is amazing and it did it. Right. It walking. It walked it, but yeah. 
<laughs> there is a point where you're, you can just see sky yeah. through your windscreen. Scary, and it's yeah. not a nice feeling. No. Do you fancy a little swap? Oh, we could swap we and we could find a different route around the... But we could go around the bottom of the Let's mountain. Go We're going to the go the over the top. The gentle way. Yes, all right. <laughs> no, brilliant. Oh, I'll have a nice, nice go in this one. Oh, this is lovely. Good. Oh, there's that famous Land Rover steering play. <laughs> I'm just watching Jack. Uh, test the uh, steering in the other Land Rover that I've been driving and uh, it is very it's, it's very relaxed it doesn't want to it doesn't run a tight regime but I, there is the, it's the look of the classic Land Rover that I've, I'm seeing in front of me I do love the look of those funny old cars all right let's see what the old girl's got but for people you know what is crazy about this it's kind of driving off-road in the UK is kind of crazy farmers do it all the time so this makes so much more sense for a farmer using a farm vehicle and you know it's very obvious all farming equipment will become electric too because it's so much more it makes so much more sense they can produce the power they need on their farms it's much much cheaper than running a diesel it's much less uh, you know servicing and maintenance needed Twisty and bumpy. Oh my god, that is amazing. I'm impressed that that's getting up. This one just sort of just gets up. <laughs> oh my god, they can't get up the hill. They got stuck there. Yeah. Interesting development behind me just there. My land is up there, Roberts, and then behind us is the follow car. That's our camera car for the day. It's a diesel, and it's stuck. So electric car to the rescue. Robert Llewellyn, the saviour. Robert, that's too much. That's the most diesel he's burnt in the last 10 years of his life. Hello. <laughs> I think I prefer this one. I'm having to at least think about what I'm doing a tiny bit more. I'm having to choose a line a bit more carefully. Whereas in the old monster truck, there is no thinking. There's just going forwards and forwards and forwards. I'm a bit more involved in this one. Oh, <laughs> dude, slightly miss my squashy tires. Ow. What is this up ahead? Is this the Quasar? Right, that's thumbnail done. Yeah, thumbnail done. Well, we're at Very it. Good. Spud. Cheers, Spud, off you go. Spud would really like it if you could like this video. That's Leave a true. comment down below saying, Spud, I would die for you, because any comment helps the video. It helps the video it grow. What else, yeah. Robert? Live show. Live you show. should come to Fully Charged Live. Yeah. Last two days of April, first day of May, Farnborough International, millions of cars and e-bikes and scooters for test drives. And a load of stuff from Classic Electric Classic Cars. They're going to be there, That'll big be time. An electric landy. Like and subscribe. Buy tickets to the live show. That's it. That's it. That's the plug. Yeah, that's it. We're done. Plug's done. The plug. Hello, Mr. Man. Here he is. <laughs> oh, I'm being corralled. What's going on here? Do you teleport or something? <laughs> well, as the crow flies, it's not that far to walk up the mountain, but. As you can tell, we're quite high up now because the we're in the clouds. Yeah, it's important to mention that it's not that we've taken three years to complete that course. <laughs> it's just quite changeable weather up here. <laughs> when you started off, it was summer. It was sunny. It was summer. And, and now it's nearly winter. No, it's late autumn. <laughs>
Oh, you had a good time? You had a brilliant time. I mean, incredible. They're just inc they are amazing machines. They're just incredible, Richard. An amazing job. Because I, you can sort of say the, the drivetrain was there and the, the axles and the whole system that, right, that Land Rover developed, but the way you've integrated the electric stuff is miraculous it's I, when, amazing when we converted these i wanted to maintain as you say that base of like yeah. fantastic off-road ability yeah but just build on it and take away some of the negatives of driving these things because they're not fantastic cars to drive normally when no. they're diesel you've got all that clunkiness oh, with the gear God, changing such a relief high low that. ratio do i lock the diff do i what, what gear yeah. should i be in yeah. now hopefully you've concluded you it's it. fairly yeah. simple to drive off-road yeah. now did you go the extreme route up the... You um, went up the extreme route. I tried it <laughs> yeah. in that, which which strolled up it, but we decided that was enough for the day. We took the long, long way best. around yeah. after that. The thing that jumps out to me from driving these is, is there a type of vehicle that suits electric power better? Because yes, they've got horrible efficiency and they use up a lot of battery, but being able to do this kind of stuff in silence... Yeah, you know, there's incredible. two motocross bikes rode past us earlier and it was like, quite offensive actually yeah. Ugh, that was so noisy so loud. Yeah, there's yeah. no noise pollution no pollution coming out of the no. exhaust pipe yeah. it's just lovely and all you hear is the crunching of the gravel yeah. and the splashing of the water it's lovely i i love going off-roading in these you, things you actually with me you actually heard some whimpering as well <laughs> there's me going oh, oh my god <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a little bit of only the first whimpering. five minutes and then you realize you can just drive that, over anything that is, i didn't whimper in that that is incredible yeah. that's such a, it's a monster beast. it is a beast i'm yeah. glad you enjoyed yourself boys. no brilliant time we i'll tell, it. You, I'll tell you what i want to do now on roading bit of it's on nice road. and smooth like like velvet, <laughs> velvet like on road. road no so, potholes so a bit of bonus content that i want to see I think you should show Robert what this thing is capable of when dialed up to 11, power-wise, because we've been driving it in it easy right mode all day, yeah. haven't we? Have you brought your big boy pants? <laughs> right, go on in. I'm going to turn up to 11. I need to see Let's this. <laughs> uh, so that's all we've got time for. Really hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm afraid we enjoyed making it a hell of a lot. It was absolutely brilliant fun. Thank you, Richard. Uh, please subscribe to Fully Charge. Have a look at all the links that are in the show notes of this, which will include... Um, uh, electric classic cars all the links to everything that rich is doing as well as as well as stuff about fully charged live where vehicles like this will be on display but that's all as always if you have been thank, thank you. you for watching oh my lord oh jesus that is terrifying <laughs> this is a fail of tv <laughs> Just cancel the video and just put a lens on these two idiots in the back of a Toyota Hilux. <laughs>